In this video, we will look at how we can solve equations with x squared by introducing the zero product property. What the zero product rule says is that if you're multiplying two factors and the answer is zero, the only way that's possible is if either the first factor, a, equals zero, or the second factor, b, equals zero. So if we have factors that equal zero, to solve, we set each factor equal to zero. Let's take a look at some examples where we can set factors equal to zero to find out what x equals. In this problem, we have two factors, 5x minus 1 and 2x plus 5, that multiply to equal zero. This means one of the factors must be zero. So we write 5x minus 1 equals zero, or the 2x plus 5 equals zero, and solve these two equations to find our solutions for x. The first equation we solve by adding 1, 5x equals 1, and finally dividing by 5. x could be equal to the fraction 1 -fifth. When it does, the first factor equals zero times anything is always zero. Similarly, we can solve the second factor by subtracting 5 from both sides. This gives us 2x equals negative 5. Finally, dividing both sides by 2, we find out x could be the fraction negative 5 halves. This means when x is negative 5 halves, the second factor equals zero times the first will always be zero. Let's take a look at another example where we use this zero product property to find solutions. Here, we have three factors multiplied together. 2x is multiplied by x minus 6 is multiplied by 2x plus 3. One of those factors must be zero for this equation to equal zero. So we set them each equal to zero. 2x equals zero, x minus 6 equals zero, and 2x plus 3 equals zero. Solving these equations will tell us the possible values for x. The first equation solves by dividing by 2. This gives us x equals zero. When x equals zero, the first factor is zero, times something times something will always equal zero. We can solve the second equation by adding 6 to both sides. This gives us x equals 6. When x is equal to 6, the middle factor is zero, multiplied by the others will always equal zero. To solve the third factor, we start by subtracting 3 to give us 2x equals negative 3. Finally, dividing by 2 gives us our final possible solution for x of negative 3 halves. When x is negative 3 halves, the last factor is zero, multiplied by the others would always be zero. The zero product rule simply says if several factors multiply to zero, either one of them or another will equal zero. Using this, we can find possible solutions for x.